Hi there, my name is Ashley and this is Thriving with Ashley. I am the chief host of Thriving with Ashley. And for you to join the Thriving family here, we are Thrivers, okay? So for you to join the Thriving family, you have to click that subscribe button so you can officially be inducted into our Thriving family, okay? So thanks so much for clicking on this video and I hope you stay to the end. So how are you doing? How is everything going? I hope you're staying safe. You know, it's not easy, but like just keep on doing the best that you can do. You cannot come out to yourself, okay? So just keep on going, keep on pushing. One day, we'll get there. So without talking too much, I'm just going to roll that intro right now. OMG, it's Ashley again. Subscribe. I stick to the so in today's video, we're going to be talking about, or I'm going to be telling you how I applied to a Caribbean medical school or how to apply to a Caribbean med school. Why I said how I applied is because everybody's experience is different. So my experience might be different from yours, your experience might be different from mine, might be better, it might be worse. Everybody's experience is different. So if you don't know, I school in the Caribbean, I school in Dominica to be precise, and I school in Osage University in in Dominica. So this video is inspired by a comment I had and I did a last medical school video and somebody commented and said that they wanted a part two where I talk about like you know like how to apply things you need and things you need to know before you actually move on so that's what this video is about so if you're interested in knowing how to study in the caribbean you want to apply you want to know some things then why don't you keep on watching this video okay so first i'm going to start by answering why i picked the caribbean medical school so why did i pick the caribbean medical school to, to be honest the story behind this is anyways it's a long story that let me just cut it short. In the US, the process was a lot longer, the process was more tedious and the fees too were more expensive and I discovered the Caribbean schools, like I discovered Caribbean American schools, like oh wow, they write the same exam as US students and the fees are, you know, lesser and I was like okay, so maybe let me try the Caribbeans. That's just part of the story and that's the important part of the story for you guys to know. And another benefit why I also picked a Caribbean medical school is because I had the opportunity to apply into the fall semester, spring semester or winter semester. So like there were different semesters and I had the opportunity to apply to any one of them. But in America, sometimes you have to wait, you have to wait for like the next admission session to be able to get in. This is based off on what happened to me. What to look for in a career medical school? I will not come and tell you like this is this, this is that, this is this, but these are basic things you just need to be able to check the boxes of the school you wish to apply to or you want to apply to in the Caribbean. Yes, there's there's so many schools coming up these days in the Caribbean, there's so many schools here and there, but how do you know which one is right for you? So instead of just thinking about only the degree, we have to think about some other key things, some other things that are very essential, especially when it comes to looking for a school searching for a school first things first is accreditation i cannot sound this one more than how i've already sounded it there are plenty of schools in the caribbean but you need to know if the school you want to go to is accredited so even if you want to check start by just checking for the schools based off on accreditation for the caribbean i know it's the accm or the caam that is a recognized accrediting body so if you want to be able to school in the u.s find your school right based off on these bodies like let your school be among the list of accredited schools why because if your school is not accredited if you plan to go into the u.s or if you plan to work in the u.s you might not be able to work if your school is not recognized by these bodies make sure your school is part of the list on this accreditation body next thing you also need to you know do your research to you know the kind of environment you're taking yourself to you know when you just go to instagram and you know internet to just check for pictures and you see all these beautiful glamorizing pictures you see so many amazing pictures but by the time you get there it's not like what you expected so because of any expectations like you're going to the school in the caribbean not america the lifestyle in the caribbean is way way different from lifestyle in america so in caribbean schools right i feel like in each school the quality of education varies there's some schools that are not um, interested in you going to do your rotations in the u.s there's some schools that okay they're helping you to you know transition your way into your clinical years in the u.s so depending on the what you want you have to understand the curriculum of that school so you don't go into a school where it does not fit your best interest so 
just do your research understand the curriculum you need to also go to a school that okay you're sure like this school they're really going to prepare me for this step or no this assembly that i'm going to write so you just need to make sure that the school you plan to go to especially if you want to go to the u.s just make sure that the curriculum is a strong curriculum and this the curriculum is preparing you for the exams you're going to write yes so also the learning environment you need to make sure that the learning environment is very conducive do a lot of research if you can watch youtube videos of people studying in that particular place you want to go to because it's very important that you do your research you don't want to have high expectations and go there and be heartbroken so that's one tip out if you never have high expectations like sometimes when you expect too much from a place your heart is broken and you become very unhappy when i'm a testimony <laughs> that's it that's a story for another video okay next is to check the usmle pass rates and the average score. you also need to know how much the students pass their usml you need to know okay what is the pass rate of this school like how I many people get the average school you understand so you need to check up this might be little things but they're actually very important because i feel like the stronger the average score you know okay people, there's something that so sorry guys um, i'm back now and there was some things i needed to handle so as i was saying you just need to know the usml pass rates like just just some kind of information you deserve to know another tip is for some for some schools here yeah, people that really want to stand out they put their average pass scores there they put like okay they put graduates they put people that have graduated they put their testimonials so this is also another way to be able to know okay there's something right that this school is doing so if you don't find it on their website then you might just have to do some digging you might have to send some messages to maybe potential students who are in the school to maybe answer your questions just find your way network because you never know so many things except you start asking questions okay so next what are like the admission requirements So basically the admission requirements the things i presented when i was you know applying to crime members so these were some of the documents so if you have most of these documents to check okay then you can take the next step to applying so first things first they have two programs in the school which are and they have two programs which is the four-year md program and the five-year md program so the four-year md program is for people who have already like started university or maybe completed like two years of university or maybe you have a bsc then you might want to opt for the four-year program the five-year program is different which means you just finished high school you want to start that fresh like you'll start from beginning beginning then you do the five-year program the difference is that the five-year program includes pre-med but the four-year program you just go straight into your md courses me that i am doing the five-year program what i presented was my 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 west african secondary school living certificate examination from nigeria or you just present some degree or some transcript that is recognized to show okay this is how far you progressed in school okay so the next thing so based on the caribbean curriculum which i am talking about in this video i didn't need to write any other exams i just presented that my results which had a like you had to have the past you have to have a pass in subjects like biology, chemistry, mathematics, physics. So you have to have a pass on the basic science courses from high school. If you don't have a pass, then I don't know what's going to happen, but you can still try. Then also, I had to get my transcript. So I needed to get my transcript to showcase okay, this is the level of education I have completed. Just the transcript just show like, your education history or how how well you were doing in school. That was another thing I presented. Then letters of recommendation. I think I presented one or two letters of recommendation. I cannot remember. But letters of recommendation basically is from your school stating that oh this student is this da 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 da. You understand? That's like letter of recommendation. I needed to also write an essay. So I needed to write an essay and I presented. I wrote an essay and mailed it to them. So the requirements basically the basic requirements I can tell you. Of, are your degree or you know you present the documents or your result that okay you've graduated from this social place and you're applying to this school and you also need like maybe letters of recommendation your transcript and your essay when they ask you for it basically as you go in the process you do start telling you more things to bring but these are like the basic things you just need to have ready okay so basically we've talked about the requirements so for more requirements you have to start your process and maybe talk to the school and then they'll tell you the other things they need because there's much more than what i just listed but those are like basic things you just have ready so that when they ask you say oh i'm this person i'm that person and you can provide that but when you start the actual application process there's much more documents that are going to be required from you so you just have to wait because it depends on the school you want to apply to next thing is tuition cost what are the tuition costs 
So, and everything I'm saying is based off on the school I'm attending. So, Caribbean schools have different tuition because there's some schools that maybe cost $50,000 a year. There's some schools that cost $15,000 a year. So, depending on you and your budget, you find something that suits your taste. But just know that it's not only the, the price that determines the quality of education in the school. So, you just need to do more research than just the cost. So, don't let the cost of the school or the tuition put you off. Just do more research. So, about tuition, I know, I know my school gives scholarship depending on your grades and probably your letter that you wrote they will give you a scholarship so the scholarship can range from the, everybody has different scholarship in my own opinion because my scholarship is not the same percentage with my friend's scholarship but all the same we're all on scholarship but another thing to know is that this scholarship now you know you've applied to this school right and once you apply to the school <laughs> I'm really going to put it out there like if you want to transfer all this school you have to pay back all that scholarship money okay so just that's just one tip and i'm talking of based off of my experience i don't know if other schools are like that but i know like some schools the percentage you give you scholarship or for my school the percentage of scholarship you get if you want to transfer out of the school at any point in time you might have to pay back all of that money so also do your research if you know you cannot afford it maybe you can email the school to see if they they help with loans or grants you know talk about financial aid so just email the school to know if they have any financial aid plan so that you know what you can you know work with so basically i just want to say everybody's experience is different if i did not cover the basic you know things in this video please let me know in the comment section but these are like the basic things you need to know before you like go to your medical school check and myself is when i got into school that I, I realized some of these things like i didn't even do some background check i was just excited to be going to a new phase in my life i'd not do a lot of background researches and i'm just going to be honest so it's not along the process you don't have to know everything immediately the process will teach you a whole lot so in order for you not to you know make that same mistake that's why i did this video so i hope you understand if i didn't answer some of your questions please leave it in the video as there will be a part two if more questions arise okay so thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video and yeah